What's going on? Mining companies tearing down Lester's Hogan. I can't do that. It's been there a hundred years. Lester signed relocation papers just before he died. I don't believe that. I saw him myself. Raymond's ballistic. Send in for reinforcements. I'll talk to him. Good luck. I don't like this, Jesse. Helping the company run people out? Well, you think I do? Raymond's my cousin. This is getting hey. ugly. Hey! Hey! Jesse. Cool down, Raymond. Lamar said this is a legal operation. We've got your father's signature. I've seen it. It's a forgery. No! Let me see what I can do. No! You're tearing down this man's whole gun. This place is ceremony. You're wearing a uniform, Jesse. You know the law. Enforce it, please. I've got nothing to say to you. This is getting out of hand. you got to stop this. And no being a tribal cop. Like going against your own people. Come on, what happened? Jesse Rainbird. I haven't heard you talk about Jesse for a long time. I haven't seen him in a long time. Well, maybe that's what your dream is trying to tell you. You know, we're only a couple hundred miles from the reservation. We could be there tomorrow night. Now, don't forget about the Grand Canyon you promised the kids. Yeah, well, it's been there a couple of billion years. I imagine it'll keep for a day or two longer, don't you? You're right. I'm sorry I woke you. It's okay. My name is Russell Green. Maybe you passed me and my family out on the highway. Maybe you were driving some fancy sports car or an old beat-up four-door. Or maybe you've had some hard times like us, and you're out on the road with your house hitched up behind you, and America the beautiful up ahead. But whoever you are, you be sure to give us a wave next time you drive by, because we're your neighbors, and we're all on the road together. Quiet. It's almost like being in church. It makes me feel so safe. Mm. <laughs> Josh, imagine a technicolor world. All red canyons and cliffs under a sky. Oh, just about as blue as you can imagine. Oh, yeah, I can see it now. You know, Jesse was offered a good job in Vegas, but he just couldn't leave this country. Why did you meet him? We uh, spent some time hanging out together here back in the early 70s. 
I was just back from Vietnam, and he helped me out. Josh, you want to ride up front with me? What for? You know what? I think since we're heading on to Indian ground and we're going to meet an Indian family, that we should review some history, learn about the Westwood movement. Great. I knew it. Every time we get to do something fun, it turns into school. She likes me. She doesn't know you. Try it again. Russell? Russell Green? It's okay, Grandma. He's a friend. Rena, how are you? Ah. Oh, what are you doing here? How did you know? Oh, we just happened to be in the neighborhood, so to speak. Figured we'd drop by. Rena, this is my wife, Claire. Claire, Rena. Come, come. I want you to see my family. Yeah. Well, it's no time to be acting like no cop, Lamar. Look, I'm going after him. Jesse's swearing to get even. And yes, there is going to be a police investigation. Excuse me. This is Jesse's friend, Russell Green. His wife, Claire. This is our son, Will. Will? Grandma Teresa. Yeah. Sheriff Ness. And Conrad Shorty. Rena, where's Jesse? He's taken off, Russell. His cousin was killed yesterday in a disturbance. I'm sorry. We've obviously come at a very bad time. He's crazy with rage. I'm afraid of what he's going to do. Sheriff Jesse and I go back a long way. Uh, maybe I could find him and try to reason with him. This is a police matter, Mr. Green. And a tribal matter. Stay out of it. Well, it's a lot better idea than you got chasing after him with a posse. We don't want any more killing. The sheriff, Jesse helped me one time. If he needs it now, I'm not going to refuse to help him. Rena, for the last time, where's Jesse? If I knew, I wouldn't tell you. Will? If I knew, I'd be with him. And I'm going after him. I can't wait around for him to come back and shoot up my force. Well, so suppose we bring him in ourselves, Russell uh, Green. Russell Green and me. You know where to look? I know where to start. Might not be a bad idea, Sheriff. We could find him, let him cool down a little bit. Wouldn't be any more bloodshed. Come on, Lamar. You know Jesse. He's a good man. I've got a responsibility here. You're a peacekeeper, Sheriff. That's your biggest responsibility. I'll give you 48 hours. After that, we get serious. Sorry about this, Grandmother. I want to go with you. No. Listen, Will, I'd appreciate it if you'd stay here. We've got a son just about your age. Could use a friend right now. He had an accident. He's blind. to the left. That's next. Now, the folding chairs are behind you against the trailer. Look, I know what this is about. I'm just trying to make me feel useful. Even Nathaniel can do those chairs. Even Nathaniel? Russell be gone. Not long. Well. Help. All right, everybody. Get up. 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 Get up
everybody. School's in session. Hey, Daniel, this is the book I was telling you about. Oh. Hello. Uh, we haven't met. I'm Russell's mother, Hattie. Oh, well, I see. We've both been doing some laundry. <clears throat> uh, perhaps I'd better move my stuff closer together. Sure, me looking guy. His name is Geronimo. He was a great Apache leader. He's very, very brave. Like my dad. Sort of. Okay, in what physical states does matter occur? California, Oregon. Who cares? Liquid, solid, gas. Three states. Next question. Who are you? Name's Will. We're just getting into physics at school. A lot of our lessons come off a satellite. All the way from outer space to the reservation? All the way. Maybe I could help you. My sister's doing just fine. Just thought I'd ask. I hear you play the guitar. Did. Don't. I play a drum. Thought you might like to try it sometime. In case you didn't notice, can't see. A little light, a lot of dark, that's all. I, uh, didn't know you needed eyes to make music. I always thought it came from the heart. You don't have to be so rude. Who needs him? Who needs you for that matter? started a long time ago when Congress allowed a copper company onto our land. You made the people move out of the way of the mines. I can do that without your permission. Well, they just moved into the tribal offices and made a lot of promises. New homes, jobs, opportunities for our young people. You know, a few people made enough money to buy fancy cars, TV sets. Some of the reservation roads got paved. Well, that doesn't seem like much of a reward for having your homes taken away. Losing your freedom. You know, most of the people aren't into getting rich. They just want to live off the land like their grandmothers and grandfathers. You know, raising sheep, farming, weaving. But they're always after us to move. And that's what the disagreement was about? Well, the company sent in bulldozers. Raymond was trying to stop them from tearing down his father's hoga. U.S. Marshals, tribal police got involved. Shots were fired. So what's Jesse doing out here? Praying, I hope. Because if he comes back like he left, he's going to kill somebody. Or be killed. Either way. Hey, he's out here somewhere. But where do you think? Well, your guess is as good as mine. You know, I'm, I'm not that good at tracking. He could be anywhere. Double spruce, nothing. What makes you think he's not headed for Durango? You ever heard of skinwalkers? No. Good. Some things are better left unspoken. Evil. Their way is vengeance. Guess he might have taken that path. He's come here to find his heart. Journey be peaceful or bloody. Will he choose the Navajo way or? Will he take a darker, darker road? He's come to the land of his ancestors to find out.
honest man do, anyway? There's the ways, songs, prayers, conducts rituals to heal the people and keep them in balance with the environment. Some say Jesse's boy's got the gift. Tell me something, how did Jesse get the name Rainbird? Well, it comes from his Navajo name. Pita in Chile. It means a uh, man who couldn't go beyond the rain. We call him Rainbird for short. Rainbirds come out before a storm. They're a good blessing to us. They bring water. Swallows? Now, wouldn't they be nested in those cliffs right up there? Makes sense to me. It's so beautiful. What do you call that kind of pot? A wedding vase. See the two openings? One for the husband, one for the wife. How did you learn to do that? My mother was Puebla. I learned it from her. She learned it from her mom. But well, we have a long tradition of pottery. So if things don't move too fast, you'll pass it on in kind. My mother taught me how to knit. I've knitted everyone's scarf in the family. But this one's for me. <laughs> this stone. I've never seen anything so smooth. Oh, my. That belonged to my mother. We use stones to polish the pottery before it's fired. Huh. I'd like to see that. It's hard work. I've only got a few pots drying now. <sighs> I need to stay busy. You're worried about Jesse, aren't you? I'm counting on Russell to bring him back. And a higher power to protect our land. We're praying for that. I'm praying with my hands. Who is it? Who's there? It's me, Will. Why didn't you say something? How'd you know I was here? I don't know. I felt your shadow on this. You don't need eyes for everything. Yeah, try it sometime. You won't get any music out of this thing. We're pretty far from a transmitter. What's that? That rattling sound? You tell me. It's a South American thing. Maraca. Gourd rattle. We use them in our Yaipiche ceremonies. I made it. I made my drum too. Maybe you'd like to try it sometime. I don't think so. You have it. I'll make another one. And I'll bring you medicine for your eyes. Sure. Allergies. It's all this dust. What's that video camera for? Oh, might need it. I'm supposed to keep an eye on that house. What for? In case Jesse comes home. Oh, secret stuff, huh? My dad knows all about that. It's with the CIA. Oh, really?
he's with the CIA. Russell? No, um, <laughs> I'm Arthur Yazzie. And you're? Uh, Claire Green, friend of the family. Excuse me. Is Reno home? Hello, Arthur. Rena. How's your mother? Look, I'm, I'm sorry about what happened yesterday. That's not why you're here. The company sent you. Well, if you know the company sent me, then you know why I'm here. Relocation papers. If we sign them, they move us off our land. If we don't, they condemn it and move us anyway. Doesn't sound like much of a chance either way. Well, my mother resisted the move at first, but now she's got a house in the city with a washer and dryer, central heat. Your father died of cirrhosis and a broken heart. They wouldn't even let him come home to die. My father was an alcoholic before he left the reservation. Just like a lot of his friends. Couldn't find work, couldn't support their families. Oh, that's all changing now. Jobs, education. The company gave me a full scholarship, paid for law school, tuition, books, everything. So they could use you against us holdouts? We're not moving, Arthur. Look, you may want to spend the rest of your life here, but shouldn't you be thinking of Will? There's a whole world of opportunities out there for him. College, a good job. I know this isn't my fight. Will can go to college from here. I'm a teacher, and I know plenty of schools that are eager to have bright Native American students. We just built some new housing. Take a look at these plans. You're wasting your time, Arthur. Please. Please look. They're beautiful. These houses are side by side. Where is the land for them to plant their corn or their vegetables? They've got fully equipped kitchens. The windows don't shake in the wind. You don't have to haul lumber. Good carpets, plumbing. Then you're right. It is a great deal considering they sold Manhattan for a handful of beads. <laughs> nice try, Arthur. been authorized to tell you that unless you agree to relocate voluntarily, the company will be forced to move you. Tell your mother hello. I'm sorry, Rena. I'm really sorry. We will not be moved. for the safety of this village and the people in it and for our husbands wherever they may be. Lord, we are grateful for the differences we have as people and we ask that they do not separate us but make us richer. Amen. Amen. And blesses for the food too. <laughs> Help yourselves, everybody. Nathaniel, watch out for that red chili stew. It's hot. I'll blow on it. It's not that kind of hot. It's the hot kind of hot. Where's Josh? Uh, he has to be excused. 
has a little bit of a headache. Excuse me. I don't think your grandmother likes me. She doesn't trust white people. And she's had to put up with a whole crowd of us lately. Grandmother and grandfather were among the first from the reservation to be relocated. There was only enough room for a couple of sheep and a small garden. And they missed their friends, the ceremonies. They begged to come back. But their home was torn down the day they left. How awful. Pretty good at this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my people have been doing this for centuries. This isn't your fight. What are you doing here? Well, I'll tell you something I never told anybody else. A long time ago when I was young and foolish and just back from the war, Set out to see the country. You and a lot of other veterans. Yeah. Well, I found myself in a bar in Gallup one night. A bunch of teenagers came in. They took one look at my uniform, started harassing me. The Vietnam vet wasn't real popular back then. I wanted to bloody him up something awful, but I just let it go. I tried to drink the rage out of my system. But the more I drank, the angrier I got. After a while, one of them decided to pick a fight. And I flashes, just like I was right back in that jungle again, kill or be killed, you know. Before I realized what I was doing, I had my hands around his throat, and I just... Never forget to look in his eyes. You killed him? No. Thank God snapped out of it just in time. And I ran out of that bar right out into the middle of the street, and I just stuck my thumb in the air, just hoping to get away. Jesse stopped, picked me up. That's where you two met? Yeah. He was on his way home from college. He recognized the look in my eyes, that thousand-yard stare. Been there. He took me off into the hills and cleaned me up, fed me. He healed me. He even invited me to his wedding. Anyway, I left there a different person. Do you feel like you own? He never made it feel like a death. I'll tell you something. Well, I've known Jesse all his life. I've never known him to say something he didn't mean. So when he says he's going to avenge Raymond's death, that's exactly what he's going to do. Mama? You knew it was me. Lucky guess. I felt someone coming, and I thought I could smell your shampoo. Something else, too. I brought you a bowl of green chili stew. I'll keep you warm. We missed you tonight. I don't like being around people. They're like a freak. These are good people, Josh. And they have had their own share of disasters. Right now, they're being forced off their land, heading to... to goodness knows where. They don't like us. No. Worse than us. They have a spiritual connection to the land. It's part of their religion. Without it, they are adrift. Will said that 
But they're the ways of seeing. Sure like to find them. You already are, honey. You just don't know it. We're so used to looking out at things that we forget there are things to see if you look in the other direction. Only don't cut yourself off from other people. Don't cut yourself off from us. We love you so much. Listen, I've been thinking about how to do this. And, uh, well, I think you ought to stay behind while I go up there and try to reason with her. Well, that's funny. I've been thinking the exact opposite. You stay here. He won't shoot me. Yeah, but uh, if he did, I mean, if anything happened to you, I'd never be able to find my way out of here. I think one of us ought to be able to go for help if we need to. Well, I'll say a few prayers for you while you're gone. <laughs> Shoot me, Jesse. Why not? Jesse, come on back with me. They're looking for you, and they're going to find you. That's exactly what I want them to do. Man, you saved my life once. You going to take it away now? Come on, Jesse. Just put the rifle down. Let's talk face to face. They're trying to push us out of here. They mine our holy places, dig up the bones of our ancestors, and when we try to stop them, they kill us. I know. I'm sorry about Raymond. He was protecting what was rightfully his. Go to your leaders, Jesse. Tell them. We can make people listen, I promise. Promise? I ought to shoot you just for using the word. Nightshade. Old remedy for sore eyes. Doesn't work? She Doesn't hurt. She Feels cool. Hey, uh, hey. Smells like hey, a uh, late afternoon after it's rained. We'll rinse it off in a while. Want to play cowboys and Indians? Daniel. Sure. Only if I could be the cowboy. Cool. Yeah. Hey, watch out for rattlesnakes!
It, it was me, Jesse. I shot Raymond. I heard somebody fire. I don't know what happened. Couldn't see. Didn't mean to. Just tell the sheriff I'm back, okay? Hey, I like it. A little bit of rock and roll, a little bit of Indian song. <laughs> <laughs> I think I should take a rock down the road, huh? Sure, as soon as you finish with school. Come on, it's time for your physics lesson. I'm glad they're friends. Will's a good boy. Yeah. I worry what'll happen if we have to leave. They got big problems, these kids. Dropping out of school, drugs, suicide. They move to the city and they leave their culture behind. The places of power. They watch movies, TV. They see white kids, black kids. They don't see themselves. They lose themselves. Gotta give them something to hang on to. Try that when you're forced to leave your land. You leave your soul behind. Oh, Jesse. You'll want this back, Lamar. I'm sorry, Jesse. You're my right-hand man. You know, I just got tired of going against my conscience. Raymond's death cinched it. The company's on its way out with a convoy of trucks and bulldozers. They want us out. You're not going to help them. I get a job, Jesse. A family to support. It looks like the company's trying to take over the whole reservation. What are you going to do for a job then? I'm saying it's a done deal. Face it. There's no reasoning with him, is there? Sometimes the only voice they listen to is the voice of a warrior. I thought I told you to stay out of this. Look around you, Lamar. These are your neighbors, your people. Are you going to allow their homes to be destroyed? Their places of worship to be taken from them? I feel just as bad as you do about this, but I'm sworn to uphold the law. I don't think you know anything about this law. I don't think any of you do. This thing got passed without even a hearing. Come 
Hands on out there, Jesse. I'm warning you. The only way you're gonna relocate me is to shoot me. Like you shot the last Navajo brother. You know that, and this is going to make very interesting footage for the 6 o'clock news. Man, Hang on, our fella. Now, get. just take it easy. You don't want to miss out on your big break. And what about your children? Think about what you leave them. Will they learn their history and grow up proud to be Native American? And how will they feel about what you do here today? Looks like your men have gone on strike. For now. Or maybe the people that see this will raise such an outcry you won't ever be able to railroad people out of their homes and off their land again. Woo! You've heard our people, Jesse. You think you've helped, but you've only made things worse. Interesting, isn't it? I feel the same way about you. Exactly. Well, as you white folks would say, uh, we made good medicine today. Us white folks would say that, huh? Well, I never heard no Navajo say it like that. Well, we bought some time. We made him listen. This was no coincidence, you coming back into my life like this. Well, whatever it was, I just thank God it happened. Thank <laughs> you. 